and so on to the next turn. And we'll roll for the initiative of the Germans first. Oh, 11. The Brits have got a 7. So the Germans win the initiative. Um, the Exeter will go first. Um, now the Exeter is going to try to draw the fire of the Graf Spee by turning to do another torpedo attack. Um, to do that, she's going to try to do an a come about maneuver, which means she has to roll nine or higher on one dice plus a d4 for her crew quality. And she's managed it. So that what that means is that she can do the uh, a normal movement and then turn 90 degrees instead of um, 45 degrees. So I'm not even going to measure this. I'm just going to 90 degrees. So you're going to come to there. Then it's the uh, the Germans' turn to move. So obviously the Graf Spee is going to try to come down in this general direction. Going to turn and will also try to do a torpedo attack. So you're going to move two or a short distance two, 45 degrees, two, 45 degrees, two, uh, this, the, the British light cruisers are carrying on moving forwards as far as they can. in the hopes that they will be able to get into a more effective range. Don't know, they may be able to get their rear turrets into action. No. So now we're on to the fire phase. Okay, so first of all, the Germans have to declare what they're going to fire. At what? So they're going to have the aft turret fire at the Exeter, the light guns fire at the Exeter, Torpedoes fire at the Exeter, this time because they're on the other side, and we'll use all four of them. And the forward turret will fire at the Ajax. So we'll start off with the three dice for the um, aft turret. Uh, at that range it's going to be point blank, so it's going to be a four down to a three. A broadside is a two, so anything but a one. It's got a 1-1. One, one. Then we roll for damage. Each one does two points worth of damage. Uh, it's a 3, and at that range it means she needs a 3 or more. So that's four points of damage, one of which is a possible critical. So we'll record that to start with over here. So four points of damage. Um, she's crippled. And we also roll on this table here. Six, which is engines. So engines, propellers drops, speed drops. It's not going to make much of a difference because she's crippled anyway. But before we can do anything else, the uh, light guns are going to fire. Now the light guns at that range are going to be normal range, so they're going to be fours plus one for broadside, so threes. Three definite hits there. Each one does one point of damage, but it's minus one armor piercing, so it needs, instead of a three plus, it needs a four plus. Two more points of damage, one of which is a critical, or a possible critical. Ah, that's a point before we should have rolled to see whether that was a critical and it shouldn't have been a critical. So we'll take that off Exeter. So this time, two more points of damage, first of all. So badly damaged and roll to see if it's a critical. No, it's not a critical because it needed to be a four plus. And then finally, this is huge overkill. Four torpedoes and hits on a six. They've all missed anyway. 
and then the forward turrets are going at Ajax. That's going to be two hits. Two hits at that range is going to be, they need three pluses. So that's four hits, one of which might be a critical. It's not a critical, so it's four hits. Ajax takes another four hits. And then uh, what happens now, we have to decide what, uh, what's happening to Exeter. Now she's crippled. Okay, so what happens is that the Exeter's speed is permanently reduced by half, so she can only move three inches. And then we have to roll for each turret. So starting with A, on a four plus it's destroyed. Nope. B. Yes. I'm going to use one of these small green dice. Uh, and X turret. No, that's okay. It also loses points off its um, light guns and it can only turn once in a turn. Okay. Um, so we're now over to the, uh, the British phase. Um, so the Exeter might as well go first. It does to still have both of her turrets can fire. She's only got two of the three turrets left, but they can both fire. Um, so that's going to be four dice. At that range, it's normal range, um, which means it's a four plus to hit. There's nothing else, so it's a four plus to hit, so that's three possible hits, each of which does one damage and uh, no plunging fire or anything, so what we need is threes and above, so two points of damage. Our light guns I've got a range of is eight inches normal, so they but they've only got one dice. They are restricted. They can't cause criticals. Um, I'm not sure how you go if they're halved and halved again because they, they they've got two attack dice halved for being crippled one, and halved again. For firing on the side, so we say you can always have one. And it misses, it's nice and easy. But she did turn far enough to be able to fire her three remaining torpedoes. I'm using my rules, you need a six to hit. Oh, nearly, nearly got a torpedo hit as she sinks beneath the waves. Over here, the uh, Ajax is going to open up first. We'll just check the range. Right, at this range, it's a long range shot. Uh, which means that it's a five or a six to hit, but she has got a broadside on her, so it's a four and above. Is it one reroll because twin linked? No, so one possible hit, but minus one, uh, so it increases the armor to a four, so that's a one point of damage. Then Achilles, going to do the same, one hit. Two hits needs four pluses, so another one. So it's done two points of damage. However, both ships are in range for their secondary light guns, which have got one dice each, but they have minus two armor. So one dice first of all misses, and one dice from the Achilles misses. Um, torpedoes, range of 16. They're actually at 15. In a desperate attempt here to score a hit, they're going to launch, both of them are going to launch all three torpedoes on the port side at the uh, graph speed. So they need sixes to hit. And we've got two hits. from this uh, spread of torpedoes. Now, torpedoes have the devastating 
um, rule, what you do is that uh, whatever you roll is the damage dice, is the amount of damage you do. You ignore the armour of the target. And fives and sixes cause crits. So the, the two are going to cause... Ah, each, each torpedo has three dice of damage. So they're going to cause six dice worth of damage. And that's three possible critical hits. So totaling up there, we have 16, um, 26, 27, 28 points of damage. This seems a lot. In fact, it's going to sink it. <laughs> If I've read the rules correctly, that's, what did I just say? 16, 20, 26 points of damage, three of which might be critical. One of them is a critical. So we've got 26 points of damage and a critical nine is a weapon. So that would be the so twenty six. She had twenty six. Yeah. So that that would sink the graph spear. So I think either I've misinterpreted the rules for torpedoes, or they haven't been tested properly. But this is a beta test. Um, or maybe a spread of six torpedoes would be so devastating if, if two of them hit. Uh, so there you go. So at this point, I'm going to call it because the, the grass bay was hit rather dramatically by two torpedoes fired from Ajax and Achilles at long range. Um, it could well be that my modifications to the uh, torpedo rules is what's caused that error. Um, if you were to play by the book, torpedoes at that range couldn't possibly hit. Uh, torpedoes would be firing at a minus two at that range. So they would probably need to be down to a f normal range. Um, just to give you an idea, normal range for the Ajax would be, for a torpedo, would be six inches and would need a six to hit. Um, and two inches for a five or a six to hit. So I'm not sure. But hopefully that's given you a rough idea how um, the game works. Um, I'm sure that there will be uh, some better modifications coming out for the actual war at Victory at Sea new set of rules that are coming out from Warlord. But uh, these are my model ships I've been using. Available on my website www.magpiedesigner.co.uk um, so hopefully you enjoyed that bit of a dramatic ending, but uh, I was really playing to show you how, how the system worked rather than uh, to win, since I was playing myself anyway. Thank you for watching.